5 Practical Methods to Boost Your Emotional Intelligence Indeed, you can increase your emotional intelligence. What is emotional intelligence and why do we need it? According to Dr. Mayer, who co-developed a four-branch model of it with Dr. Peter Salovey, emotional intelligence is the subset of social intelligence that involves the ability to monitor one's own and others' feelings and emotions, to discriminate among them, and to use this information to guide one's thinking and actions. Today, emotional intelligence, EI or EC, is considered to be even more important than IQ, intelligence quotient. This is true, mostly because people with high EC relate better to others, are more approachable, tend to be open-minded, and are therefore easier to work with, both in team environments or on an individual basis. Several studies have also demonstrated that those with high EC scores are more self-confident, trustworthy, and likable than those with low scores. They also make better leaders and generally perform better in the workplace. Needless to say, a high emotional intelligence quotient contributes overall to increased productivity and success. In fact, many companies give applicants EC tests before hiring them, while others have instituted EC training programs. Certainly, it is to everyone's benefit to increase or boost his or her emotional intelligence. Here are the five techniques to increase your emotional intelligence. 1. Become aware of and tune into your own emotions. One of the first and perhaps most important steps is to become more self-aware or to develop the ability to tune into your own emotions. Why? In order to control your emotions you must first be aware of them. Some pointers for becoming self-aware include monitoring your emotions by acknowledging them, examining them, and then assessing your triggers and activation points. Practicing mindfulness is also an excellent way to become more self-aware and monitor your emotions. By being aware of your own emotions, you are better able to understand and become aware of the emotions of others. 2. Seek to understand the points of view of others. Once you have a good appraisal of your own emotions, seek to understand and empathize with others. This is particularly important in the workplace, on committees, or in a group setting where ideas are flowing and being exchanged. To do so, listen attentively, put yourself in another's place and try to imagine what they are thinking and feeling and how they may have arrived at their conclusions. You will not only have a broader viewpoint yourself, you will be stretching your own perspective. 3. Communicate effectively. Communicating effectively requires both verbal and non-verbal skills. Communication is more than merely exchanging information. Effective communication is about understanding emotions, as well as the intentions behind the information exchanged. It is a mutual back and forth that includes conveying a message in the way it is intended and, in turn, making sure it is received as intended. Nonverbal skills include engaged listening, making eye contact, being aware of body language, not standing too close, gestures, facial expressions, etc. 4. Develop connections with people. No matter how shy or introverted you think you are, learning to develop connections with others is a huge component of emotional intelligence. In fact, even if you are shy, you can begin first by listening, showing interest and making others feel comfortable. Doing so is sometimes easier for shy, introverted people than it is for gregarious, extroverts who tend to enjoy speaking first. For both types, showing that you care and are interested in others goes far in building valuable connections. 5. Practice emotional management. Once you are aware of both your own emotions and those of others, it is important to understand how to keep them balanced and in check. Some ways of practicing emotional management include stopping to take time to process and understand what is transpiring, Diverting your attention until you are more compassed, such as going for a walk, exercising, playing with a pet, breathing deeply. Reframing the experience, i.e. exploring a new broader way of looking at the issue. Looking at the big picture and determining how important the immediate emotion reaction is to the overall issue. As you can see, there are several ways you can begin to boost or improve your EC. Doing so will not only enhance your opportunities for success in the workplace, it will benefit you in your personal and professional relationships. Ultimately, emotional intelligence ec, entails understanding yourself and others, effectively interacting with others, and then using those skills to strengthen your personal and professional relationships. Thanks for watching. Please help us create more content by supporting our Patreon page at www.patreon.com. You will instantly gain access to over 400 videos about billionaire biographies and over 140 personal development videos and over 180 Christian videos and over 450 verse and quotes images among other goodies.
If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, like this video, share this video, and subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell to never miss another video. You can also check out our second channel, Discofeth. Link is in the description. Thank you and God bless you.